I wanted to talk a little bit today about equalization and electoral reform. A lot of people here in Alberta feel that they're being treated unfairly in the electoral process and with the equalization program. I believe, along with many other Albertans, that the equalization program is unfair and broken. If you take a look at the amount of money that Alberta has contributed to the equalization program over the years, they are the main uh, contributor by percentage. They contribute more than any other province per capita. They contribute more than any other province in a, on a dollar level. And the fact is, is that it's unfair that one portion of the country is perpetually uh, uh, transferring money and propping up uh, other parts of the country. I will say this, with respect to the fiscal stabilization program and equalization rebates, the formula is broken. Alberta had a deficit in 2018 and 2019, and they still received nothing. Almost every province, it seems, receives some money from equalization other than Alberta. This needs to change, and I will advocate for that as your member of parliament here in Banff Airdrie. Another thing I wanted to say with respect to electoral reform is that when you look at population, Alberta is underrepresented with respect to the number of MPs that they have. This particular riding that we're in now has nearly 140,000 people living in it, and we're only one riding. In many other parts of the country, you're looking at 120,000. 100, uh, you know, roughly 100,000, sometimes less than 100,000 people in a riding. And yet here, we have nearly 140,000 people for one riding. This is not uncommon here in Alberta. We need to see more uh, ridings in Alberta. It's fair based on the population. And we need to make sure that we have representation uh, fairly based on our population as it is across the country as well. Thank you for listening to this today. There are many ideas about how to reform uh, equalization and, and what things should uh, change and, and what, what things should remain. But the fact is, is we can all agree that the, the system is broken and we need to make sure that one part of the country is not perpetually propping up other parts of the country. It's not right. It's not fair. Th this is something I will always fight for as your Member of Parliament. Thank you so much.